Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how can you design a similar app which can show you a Google map and also has an option to navigate. How this can be done? Let's learn. To design this, first of all, let's drag and drop a simple label to the app. In the label, I will simply name it saying, uh, for example, you have a shop, you have a company where you would like to locate. Now in this example, I'll just take a, a public place, a railway station, okay? So, Bangalore railway station, okay? So similar way, you can give it your for your shop, company, anything like that. So here I've given a label. Below this, I'm going to add a iframe. So have you heard about iframe? No worries. You'll be able to learn how to use iframe even in this video. So drag and drop the iframe control. So once you have it here, what I need, I need the, the source URL. Okay. Now to get the source URL, simply type Google Maps on your browser. Go to Google Maps. So here I am going to open Google Maps. Once you are in Google Maps, simply type you know any location let's say here i am taking bangalore uh, bengaluru railway station you can type any any of your preferred location okay so this is the one i will select it now the moment you search for the given location here you would find a uh, image like this right there is a share button okay look at on your screen where the share button is available click on this share button now once you click on the share button there is something called embed a map do you see embed a map click on it here you have an option either you can go for small medium large so let me go for a large so it will just be the you know the size will be slightly bigger based on your preference you can select now on, on this one on the right hand side you have this html do you see copy html so copy this html go to a notepad and paste it paste this entire html once you paste it you find the iframe source equals to and there is a quote just remove everything just keep https and at the end also i have the same thing iframe right so i am removing the tags that's it i am removing the tags now what you do copy this entire link you see here it is written railway road campaign you know the location is written i'm going to copy this and then I'll go to the app. Here in the source, all I have to do is paste that URL. Okay, so once you paste it, you can see the location with this red navigation uh, icon or location button, it has come. I would like to make it slightly large. So go to the style of the iframe. I'm going to stretch it. And here in the height, I'm going to remove this auto and I'm going to select percentage and I'm going to give a value 100 so that way it becomes large so let's look at the preview now if you look at the preview the entire map has appeared properly but here you know you can only see where it is okay you can see the location where exactly uh, the railway station is uh, present right I can see that here it is present okay but there is no navigation option so how do I add a navigation option here? This is just a, like a kind of a static map where I can just, you know, scroll, you know, control and scroll up and down and just understand where it is. I want to have a navigate button on top of it. So how to do that? Now to do that, let's first select uh, the container here and below that I would add a navigate button. So click here and search for button control. Okay, these are called controls. So I'm going to drag and drop the button control below this. And here I'm going to change this button name to navigate. Okay. And then I will select some icon for it. Simply type in AVI. You get this arrow. I think this should be one. Or based on your preference, you can put it. This navigate button has to be, you know, I have to write some event. The moment somebody clicks on it, then it should show the navigation. Now for that, go to event, create rule. And here I am saying open URL. Okay, open URL. 
now there is an api available from uh, google okay this is the api so this is how the api would look like www.google.com forward slash maps directory question mark api equals to one ampersand destination equals to okay this is the api now with this api i'm going to write some search criteria let's say bangalore railway station whatever your search criteria you can just put it like this and i'm going to copy this entire thing i'll go to the url and paste it without any quote nothing okay simply put my search criteria and then leave it that's all i have done now let's close it and see if it is working or not so let's have a preview okay now in the preview we can see the static map has appeared now let's see the navigate button let me click on the navigate so it's opening a new web page now here it is giving me options to travel i can go by car then how much time by bike by train right different options it is giving from my current location to the specific location to reach so i hope with this example you have learned how to design and embed a map in your app and also how do you create a navigate button for it okay so thank you for watching now if you like this video please give it a like and share with your friends and please do continue to watch videos on my channel thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye